Hello, hello, this is Dilniard speaking from the Open Wardrobe Gang, and welcome to yet another episode of our blind playthrough of Blasphemous. In the very last episode, we've uncovered a lot of secrets of the mother of mothers. We helped up uh, or we helped out our friendly wandering grandpa get to his final destination uh, which is in front of uh, the statue of the very first wanderer but he still wants something to uh, for us to do um, but I do not know what that might be just yet and we also met a, a new and interesting and exciting NPC Miriam who wants us to help her um, you know fix that one port uh, so she can get back to her homeland um, yeah um, very exciting episode the last one but today we are in a, a little bit of a different uh, environment we are in the where olive trees wither you guys in the comment section down below indicated to me that this might have not been um, the the end of Gemino's questline so I'm back here uh, first in this episode to check out if he has anything new to say or whether he I don't know maybe disappeared possibly Possibly. So without further ado, let's let's go. One more PSA, I do have a little bit of a sore throat, so if I sound any different or my voice cracks, uh, chuck it up uh, to that and please bear with me. Oh, okay, the environment did change a little bit. I see flowers like growing around here. Um, he's covered in snow and there is an item on the ground that might be the 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 end of him no there are two prompts well, wait a minute two y prompts that's surprising okay let's try this one first dried flowers bathed in tears Okay, I totally thought that this would be like a prompt for interacting with him, even if he like has nothing uh, new to say, something along the lines of he doesn't respond or something like that. But what is this? Olive trees petals vitrified by frost, tears of true bitterness prevented the cold from withering them completely. Now they are an offering never made, lost in the snow before it could reach the sepulchre of the saint. Hmm. An offering never made and lost before it could reach the thing. That also makes me think that this questline was failed, but we are getting stuff out of it still. Oh my goodness, what a wall of text. Okay, dry flowers bathed in tears. I was not expecting... I mean, I, I, I guess I was expecting to get something out of this at the very beginning of the episode, but not this. Um, well, I remember it with great sorrow. And Gracia was one of us, born in Albero like you and me. She was peculiar, however, because every day after a day gathering olives, she stayed in the mountains while the rest of us left. Some said they had seen her cry, and that's why we thought she stayed among the olive trees to be alone with her sorrow. Many years of drought erased the land back then, but although the other crops dried up and died, the olive trees on our hill would not. They remain the best harvests to everyone's surprise. This gave rise to the rumor that the olive trees were being watered by the girls' very tears. And then they decided to, you know, make her even more sad so that she could water all of their crops. What a classic. One morning, we found the girl dead, leaning on one of the olive trees. Whether she died of sorrow we will never know, we buried her in a small cave next to the olive trees where she cried, the next day the olive trees had withered. Oh! Wow, what a solemn and sad ending to this, wow. And I believe I know which cave they are talking about? The, the cave with a grave right here with like those end people next to a grave M might those be like olive trees okay and what about this one frozen olive 
Oh, this is a rosary bead. Summer fruit trapped in an endless winter, born from an olive tree turned into a prison. Its frosted oils holster or bolster the wearer's defenses when their strength is near ex nearly exhausted. Okay, so when you are uh, low on HP, this item kicks in, huh? Not bad, I don't think it's better than what we currently have on the Ember of the Holy Cremation, which boosts our defenses in general, but I might consider putting this on if we get uh, more rosary spots uh, to, you know, unlocked. As Gemino traversed the path of the frozen olive trees with the rest of the damned towards the terrible hollow metal statues where those that awaited would die abandoned, he stepped barefoot on a fallen olive that had not yet disappeared under the snow. Without drawing, drawing attention, he picked it up and squeezed it in his hands, knowing it would be the last thing he would treasure. Very interesting, finally getting more lore on Gemino and his... and, and his you know predicament okay but now i'm now i'm curious now we have to go to to get yeah to the cave where is it yeah it's here i marked it on the map smart of me to do so it's right here yes we've discovered it a very long time ago can i uh, you know put this offering in for gemino What? Wait a minute. This is this is very surprising. There's no prompt whatsoever. Is it this quest line not over then? I am so dumbfounded. Smashing the the Y button. This 100% is the girl, and these are 100% the olive trees that she cried for. Or, or like humans, maybe, trapped in the olive trees, similar to Gemino. But like... I totally thought this would be like an occasion. This would be just me, you know, going here, offering the 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 offering to the thing <laughs> and then being rewarded with something maybe there is still more to this quest line i don't know okay i'll have to you know think a little bit uh, harder about this one i guess v v i have to say very surprising i i i i totally thought this is a, a, a done deal a done sort of a situation but guess I was mistaken. Okay, if that's out of the way, because we <laughs> pushed the quest a little bit uh, far farther, but uh, still I get stuck, I think the next thing will be going up uh, and going back to the Mother of Mothers, or maybe, just maybe I should check out this place. Maybe I should check out this portal and do this cool ass jumping puzzle, I think I want to do it. Uh, let's see where the closest portal is. Because the run there would be terrible. I, I, I think I'll just do it. Well, I, I think I'll cut right here and you'll see me there. Uh, so see you in a minute. Bye bye. Okay, while we are at it and while we are here, let's spend up the 8k that we, w w that we have on the Holy Wrath. I do not use like the strong attack, but it, it I might must start. I mean, I know like I sound like a broken record at this point saying that I will s start using all of these mechanics, but it's it's really hard and I think like, you know, buying this is a no-brainer. After, you know, seeing how much damage the weight of justice does nowadays, I am really excited kind of about the um about the heavy attack whether it also deals like tons of damage. Okay, we are here. We are here. Let's go. I believe this will be just another test, and now it is unlocked. Will it all uh, involve only 
will it involve only like um you know dealing with the environment and not necessarily dealing with any any enemies um we have two minutes at this time uh, so this one is longer i believe the first one was uh, a minute 20 or a minute 25 something among the lines well i believe also if we fail we just get kicked out of the room with no harm being done so i think it will be fine i think it will be fine because spoiler alert on my way here i did not pick up this uh preview or this preview so if this kills me i'm going <laughs> My, my ass is being transported back to Albero or something. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, okay. Okay, what now? Okay, there, there, there is, like, harm... Th there are like things that can harm you in here in in this version oh shit this okay this is immediately more challenging than the last one oh no oh no this is cursed how did you Oh no, it's been so long. Oh, it's been so long. How do you do it? How do you do it again? Oh, this is not good. <laughs> oh shit, this is not good. I was not expecting this mechanic to come back. I totally forgot about this. No. Okay, let's try it. Let's try to do it. I think it was this. No, shit. Almost. That was almost correct. This is embarrassing. Stuck the entire time on this jump. And I'm, I'm missing. I think I'm doing it. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do, but I'm missing. I'm missing my timing. How about we actually connect this time? That was, that was bad. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll be uh, going back to the mother of mothers because this is terrible. <laughs> One last try. I, I am the wrong way. Okay, just kick me out. Just kick me out. Am I like graciously healed or... Uh... Huh, I don't know. Okay, okay. G gather your thoughts. Gather your thoughts. This is cursed. I totally forgot about the mid-air mechanic. Um, this is kind of embarrassing. Um, yeah, we might be soon seeing the mother of mothers once again. Um, the only question uh, that I have right now is, am I in the same state considering the amount of HP and healing that I was when I entered this room, or am I... Um, you know, getting hit and getting damaged and not being reset. Because I think we will run out of healing sooner than we'll be able to get out of this room. You know, get through this room. I think I will be blowing through all of those bio flasks in that one jump. But let's let's try it again. Let's try it again. Too bad the jump is not placed at the beginning of the of the dungeon. Then I could like practice it repeatedly, but you know. Oh shit. Oh it is what it is. It is what it is. Losing my time already. At least we did not get hit off, but I'm losing HP. Okay, going back to... Going down to two flasks. Now let's try it once, once more. Yes! Yes, I did it. 
Can I just drop down? Yes, I can. Okay, I believe going up is the correct way to go. We still might be able to do it. I hope we, we will be. Because that was freaking lucky. Lucky of me getting that... Shit, there's another! Yes, let's go, let's fucking go. Oh fuck, oh fuck. What is this? Oh, what is this? It says cursed. Okay, dodging it. We are doing it. What now? What now? 16 seconds left? Go, bro, go! I think I have to go... Shit, oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Three seconds. No, I can't make it. I can't make it. Okay. We got further this time. Um, we hit two out of two mid-air um, strikes mid-air um yeah mid-air strikes the, the the sad thing is and the problematic thing is right now is that we are losing hp with every single try so not taking that uh pre in here might have been a very bad thing it, because if we die i believe we get kicked out should i should i like take it take this one i think i'll do it i i, I think i'll do it um, because this is starting to get difficult. Yeah, this is starting to, to be problematic. I don't want to die. Because we got so far this time, maybe we'll be able to... Um, you know... Maybe we'll be able to complete the dungeon, the jumping puzzle, soon. But I need to have, like, a you know, safety to fall on, and that safety will be the preview. Fuck you guys. Get away from me. Don't have time for you. I have to say I'm very much impressed with myself for being able to, you know, jump my way through the puzzle. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Like, hitting two of those jumps in a row, freaking impressive. Okay. Now we have uh, safety to fall on, and this is the run. This is the run. Let's go. I do wonder if sliding is faster than just ordinary running. Oh fuck, losing time like an idiot. Let's go. Right off the, the bat. Losing time and losing HP. Let's go. Oh my goodness, this is not good. Oh, this is not good. We are losing time on like the least challenging part of the room. Well, we just have to play perfectly, right? Fuck yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Go, 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 go. Penitent one, this is no time to waste time. Of course, let's heal. Yeah, that's the fucking challenging part now. All right. Yeah, I guess we are doing it. Okay. This is fine. This is fine. Twenty seconds. Oh no, no, no! Missing those jumps is terrible. I don't think we can do it. But, like, it is what it is. We are getting better. 
Yeah, this is the exact same spot. Oh, shit. And I missed the very last jump. Well, we got far there this time. This is... Okay, this is tough. This is tough. Just, I, I, I can't... Like, I'm hitting every single midair strike from now on. It has to be said. It has to be said I'm pretty good. Um... I'm getting good, but I'm I'm, I'm messing up the easy parts. I, I just cannot afford to lose, you know, any time early on. Because I don't know what's, you know, further into the dungeon. Like this, for example, yeah, I missed, messed up. Oh, I and, and I forgot. Yeah, fuck me. Man, can you, like, reset this? No? Yeah, I, I've just lost 10 seconds or something like that. Yeah, I have to f remember what to do here, yes, getting hit is what it is, losing time once again, losing time one- oh my god, this is so annoying. Okay, yeah, the, the run's dead, guys, the run's dead. Okay, the run's dead, take me. There, there already you have a little bit of a criticism. Just give me a reset button. <laughs> Just give me a reset button, game. It is, it is needed. Like at this point, I don't know what should be done. A little bit because if I, um, you know, proceed with the dungeon when the run is clearly dead, I'm just losing HP, right? Yeah, it's sadly physically not possible. Yeah, I'm just losing HP. It's sadly not physically possible anymore to like get it, right? Yeah, and I'm just losing HP. Missed that round, yeah, I'm back here. Well, I just have to get better. <laughs> I just have to, to get better on the, on the not challenging parts. I'm impatient because I want to get as fast as possible to the challenging parts and therefore I'm missing like the easy stuff. Now we wait for this platform. Yeah, this is instantly so much better, even though I'm losing a little bit of HP. Jump over this, yeah, go here. Make sure that we make this jump, yes. Okay, we somehow made it. The timing was iffy there. Okay, losing time over here, but this is fine. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. This is a pretty good try, I have to say. Losing a little bit of HP is not a problem. Perfect. Fuck me, fuck me again. That's fine. Hey, we have 30 seconds left on this part. This might be it. We might be getting further on this try. Okay, all right, yes. Okay, this is how you do it. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go, guys. We did it. And I'm very glad that we managed to do it. I'm very glad this was it. Oof. Yeah, a sigh of relief and a sigh of being victorious. Nine seconds of buffer still being there in our bag. Little did I know that we were very close to finishing this whole thing. Um, 
this entire time, right? Very cool, very cool. Um, I mean, taking, taking, taking the shard instantly and getting out of here. I have. Am I teleported back? That would be amazing because I want to go to the mother of mothers. I believe we are still missing two or like three pieces. No, we are not being teleported back. That's a little bit of sa sadness on my part, but this is okay. I was very nice. I love these sections of the game. It has to be stated very nice. Uh, I do love these jumping puzzles. Um, with that being said, I was a little bit thrown off guard by the fact that... Uh, <laughs> uh, by the fact that the mid-air strike uh, made a reappearance. Um, I totally forgot about this mechanic, but it seems that I got better in the game in general. So now that I can, now I can perform it more consistently. That's good. I just have to know that it's uh, you know around the corner. Okay, I think this is going to be it for the uh, you know. Portal pieces, portal fragments, portal shards for now. I will make just another cut and we will pick up the the mother of mothers. We will pick up where we left off uh, in the very uh, last episode. Well, another cut is about to be made. Uh, see you in a minute. Okay, we are back. Let's go. Let me put on the timer back on. Uh, so I know where we are at considering time um, Okay, I think let's uh, check out the room to the right first. Yes, this is a no-brainer There's still something left to uh, uncover in this very room and this shaft if it truly is a shaft may lead to the arch uh, cathedral rooftops So this one first Okay, more of you. Fruity Guardians. I have witnessed the exhumation of the Archbishop. I have witnessed how they cleansed his hose, no, homes in wine to then dress him in silk and gold i saw them place the most beautiful jewels on his face and kiss his forehead what a what a lengthy lore piece um yeah i saw them place the most beautiful jewels on his face and kiss his forehead i watched as they placed rings on his fingers and kissed his hands they lifted him up calling his name and swayed him to make it look as if he was walking again Peculiar, peculiar description, but you know, that's something that, you know, I can understand considering the lore of this, um, of this game, you know, a very ornamental and flowery funeral that is totally in line with what we've uh, seen so far of the game. I guess that was it. I guess, I guess that was it, because we totally came from here. This is the cursed, <laughs> the cursed room with those uh, sensors, burners, swinging. Okay, all, all of that hard work just to read the lore piece. I'm fine with that. Oh shit. Oh shit, you guys are back. I forgot. Already killed them once on my way here. But we are back in the preview in no time. Okay, let's go. New content. Is there a boss in the Mother of Mothers is the question. Maybe. Let's see. Let's see. It feels like, you know, the location is uh, running out of steam, running out of rooms to present us with, so maybe this is it. Maybe there is a boss right behind this door. Oh shit. I think I... Oh, I think I spoiled myself. This totally looks like a boss room. The atmosphere totally changed. 
the 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 music uh, went silent. Yeah, everything is purple. Yeah, yeah. Some curtains in the background. Okay, who are you? Show your face. Oh shit, it's him! It's him! Okay, we are targeting the hands, goddammit. Oh shit. Okay, I can see what we are to do, more or less. Um, we are not doing any damage though. For now. I think when they lower him, we might be able to strike him. He looks fucking awesome. Yeah, right now, the hand, the hand, or the face, the face. Okay, okay. Fuck, this is, this is challenging. This is a situation similar to our uh, Lady of the Chart visage. Oh, shit, being thrown around. The fucking hands are so wacky, I love it. Nice, big damage right here. So much is happening. Okay. Get his face, get his angry face, the Archbishop. Phase two. Possibly, possibly phase two. I cannot get to his head without him being lowered to the ground. I'm using a prayer. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Big damuz, big damuz. Prayer, popping it, popping it. Oh, it was so fast thanks to the prayer. Let's go. Oh, we are one trying this shit. Hopefully. Oh. Let's go. Sliding attack. Come, come down here, bro. Come down here. Oh no! What is this? I'm getting cheated. Okay, one more, one more phase, one more phase of this. Okay, we are freaking tanking through it. This is it for you, I think. Just dodge them. Now he will come down. Will you please? Oh, there's still one hand freaking upholding him. Oh fuck. I'm throwing. I'm throwing for skins. Okay, now. You, you calm down now. Right? Is there still one more? That's ridiculous. Yeah, here it is. A small hand was still there. But we got him. We got him. Melquai des the exhumane. What, 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 what? Ah, I missed it. God damn it. God damn it. But what a cool fight. What a cool fight. All right. All right. Oh. Oh shit. I totally did not mean to do this. Why did I go to the left? Okay. First uh, things first. What a cool, what a cool freaking boss. What a cool freaking boss. Um, very much li liked the visuals. He is totally the guy that one corpse was talking about. So now I am very glad that I went out of my way in that other room, checked out what the corpse had uh, to say, and it definitely described the guy perfectly, right? 
the guy being upheld by the hands, the guy having like rings and ornamental jewelry all over him. I am a little bit uh, disappointed in myself and impressed in myself at the same time that I got him on the very first try because truly I wanted to experience this fight once again, right? Usually my very first try is like, oh no, oh no, so much is happening, so much is happening. And then later on you can go in, appreciate the boss visually, appreciate the boss uh, considering the mechanics. And sadly, I powered through, I played well, and I am not rewarded with another try. Sadly, I want to fight the guy again. I have to give props to the Sekiro developers. Um, because in that game you can replay every single boss fight after beating it for the very first time. You can replay it as many times as you possibly want and I wish more games incorporated uh, that mechanic. With that out of the way, the boss was awesome um, visually, mostly, that's most of mostly what I've been focusing on, very much cool visually. The attacks were really cool, he was like a combination of or like a variation of our Lady of the Chart visit, right? Um, he, we had to hit the limbs, that would not do any damage, but he would lower his ugly skeleton face and you would be then able to damage it. Also, you guys were totally right, the, the prayers absolutely melted the guy especially the, the one I'm currently using, the, the, the talisman that we got from that one quest line yeah the zaramanda of the save uh, haven very very useful for this fight i popped it it would circle around me and hit not only the the face right when the boss would lower himself to my level but also hit you know uh, the hands around me so that we would get more chances um to to you know interact with the head very interesting very good for this fight i do wonder whether that's the perfect uh you know the perfect prayer for this particular fight and thankfully i had like three uses out i got three uses out of it we went into the fight with a, a, a lot of fervor and it paid off what can i say Awesome. The very first boss after the uh, Warden of the Brotherhood of Sorrow, I believe his name was, that we got to, you know, take down on our very first try. So I'm kind of proud with myself on this one. Okay, I've been rambling for a very long time and accidentally I went to the left and exited the map and now exited the boss arena and I am now stuck in this particular place. No map is available, so I guess, you know, this ain't over yet. There is still something that we'll get out of this whole experience. Let's see. Okay, shattered glass on the ground. More and more shattered, gla shattered glass. Okay, what is this? Everything is disappearing outside of the glass. Ooh! Who might you be? Freaking disappeared and dropped me an item? I will take it. This is a reward for killing the boss. But will it be a quest item or something amazing that I will be able to use? Question mark. Deformed mask of something. Oh! Okay, we got kicked out. Okay. So, when we entered the, the freaking room, this was like a warped reality type of a th thing? Or is it the room to the right here? Oh! And, and the cutscene is now playing so much. From the highest point of the tried tree in which the miracle has reincarnated. Okay. All right. Yeah. To gather my thoughts, um, check the quest item. Um, deformed mask of Orestes. 
Is it the mask that we've just seen? I don't believe so. Or like the helmet, the face that we've just seen that spoke to us. I believe that's the Pope sitting on top of that freaking tree waiting for us to take him down. Um, but this one, artifact found in the hands of a dead archdeacon in a dreamed world. Yeah, totally. I believe we, like, killed the, the, the same archdeacon that was sitting on that throne is the one that we killed. The, the 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 thing that we was fighting though was like um i don't know a corrupted version of him artifact found in the hands of a dead archdeacon in a dreamed world yeah okay confession of orestes my forces are decreasing i fear that sacred mission that your most illustrious has entrusted to me is beyond our abilities. The others are mistaken. If the answer were so easily found, I would not have ventured into this place, crossing the boundaries of the flesh. My time limited as it already was has not been enough to unravel the unfathomable mysteries of this dream kingdom, this land that my ignorance and pride have turned into my grave. Interesting, what was the mission? the most illustrious gave to the Archdeacon, to the Orestes. This land that my ignorance and pride have turned into my grave, I find consolation in knowing that the mask will remain with me, thus eluding ungodly hands in the same way that the answers I sought have managed to elude my useless scrutiny. Okay, so he was, eventually he was not on board with the mission. And that ungodly mask that we currently have should not, f you know, fall into bad hands, so to speak. Okay, a quest item. What do we do with it? Another thing. Okay, this was truly a, a true reality. Uh, initially, I thought this, you know, uh, this purple... Um, room this big boss arena is just us being sucked into the mind of you know this corrupted uh, this corrupted deacon and this to the left here is like the true room that we entered but no both of the rooms are real the one to the right and the one to the left okay let's see what is in here the throne of the deacon where does this lead question mark okay we are back here all right so that um that freaking um shortcut that we found in the very last episode or that we've seen in the very last episode actually leads to the boss fight okay i think this is like a clear indication that arch cathedral rooftops is like the very next location that we should go into right you enter you exit the boss arena to the left and there is uh, like a ladder going up and there is a new preview and a new um location all right all right that's pretty cool but still there is something in the mother of mothers what a cool boss man what a cool boss now i'm a little bit mad at myself that i beat it on a first try not being able to you know experience more of it i a little bit you know face tanked some of uh, the attacks being thrown my way um and you know the 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 prayer helped me out a great deal so i'm i'm not satisfied i'm not satisfied i wanted to i want more of this Hopefully the game will provide me with another awesome boss pretty soon because I want more boss fights. Definitely. They are so cool. Now we also have 16k on us uh, and I don't know what I will do with all of that uh, Tears of Atonement. Maybe we are uh, like close to another Makupa shrine that will give us 4 points and that's 2 abilities that we will be able to get spinning attack as a combo finisher I, I i i'm totally not like using this which is dumb i'm, I'm using the base a combo finisher and not the upward swinging one or the downward swinging one when i will eventually get to uh, use it 
But the game is so fast paced and my, you know, the, the strats that I've been using are still working. So I have not been thinking about, you know, venturing forth into the unknown or like, um, you know, interacting with more uh, sophisticated mechanics. And this is the, yeah, the onslaught, the lunge. Reaches the maximum level of mastery in the art of lunge. Cuts the air in such a way that it manages to produce a wave that also produces damage above and below the blade. That's pretty cool. Also, uh, I uh, can only assume the penitent one uses uh, this one automatically. So I will not have to, like, think during battle about, you know, changing up my combo. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is so funny. This is this is just like comedy gold timing. Wow. Ask and you shall receive type of a situation. There you go. <laughs> there you go. We are instantly provided with something that we can invest our use of atonement. Um Let's get the lunge, because as I said, I can only assume it is used by the penitent one automatically. Can't uh, buy this one just yet, but like, that's okay. That's okay. Is it any different visually? Oh shit. Yeah, it definitely is very wide in comparison to the one that we've been using. It, 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 it looks a little bit shorter, but that might just be, you know, it visually. Looks awesome, though. Okay. I guess that's it for the Mother of Mothers. Hmm. Should we, at the end of the episode, because we are nearing to the end of the episode, should we venture into the... Uh, the rooftops, or should we maybe go check out or uh, check up on the grandpa? Huh? Maybe something changed after we beat the boss. I, I want to. I think I want to check. I am also kind of interested whether we should be going to the, the rooftops or the sleeping canvases. Have not made up my mind just yet. Okay, I think I'll go to, to check out on the grandpa and I will see you in a minute. Another cut. Okay, we are back. No, no, don't cry, my friend. Do you have anything new to say? What else does thou want from me? Okay, he has nothing... Nothing new to say. This is surprising. I thought totally... Like killing the boss of the uh, of the area would somehow uh, propel uh, this this quest line forward. Doesn't seem to be uh, the case though. I'm like thinking. I'm I'm thinking like what might this this guy want? I mean maybe he clearly maybe he wants like an like an item of sorts like for us to bring him, but like. This is like the end goal of this pilgrim over here, right? The final destination of the first pilgrim's journey. I mean, it would only be natural to find the item that um, our friendly grandpa wants somewhere in this in this area, right? But the mother of mothers is like cleared out, I think, mostly, unless there are some secret rooms like placed in the in the ground, right? Like in the um library of the negated words <laughs> it, it, unless that's the case i don't know what to do do we have anything he provided us with these toes maybe i have to find all of the toes or something and only after that i will be able to interact with it uh, with like the statue or him <laughs> Like telling him, oh look, here you go. Like all of the five toes, I've I have them. For whatever reason, you only gave me three with no mentions of the other 
Mm, two. Mm. Am I supposed to like? Yeah. It, it, are are we supposed to do that? Maybe I should put them on. What was that sound? Oh, it's nothing. Oh. Really? <laughs> That's it? That's so surprising. I... What? I guess I'm a freaking genius or something. Which one did I even have? Dodging cooldown? Yeah, that's the one I had. Extra thrust while in the air? Yeah, no idea how what that one worked. Okay, so like... Yeah, th this is a surprise to me. I mean, actually... Saying that's it might be, you know, not describing the situation properly because this is actually very surprising. <laughs> this is actually very surprising. I totally thought that there are like five toes in total. I feel like I thought to myself, okay, maybe we'll try the three on and he says something different like, oh, now that you have three on you, you to, in order to interact with the statue or something, you have to find the other, uh, the other two. You have three, you need two more on you. So I, I, I checked the item on. Um, yeah, but I guess that, that I, I guess that was it. Not really intuitive, I would say, but God bless, I, I, I tried that option. Okay, maybe he has something you'd say now? Master showeth us the continuation of the path. New steps await us under the cold stone. Okay, the dialogue changed. The, it's interesting that he was still crying in the background while he was saying that. The continuation of the path. New steps await us under the cold stone. Will he now move and continue his journey? He seems glad now. Barefoot master. Wait for me. Okay, are we going in, friend? Let's check it out, man. Okay, we are pretty limited in here. Nail uprooted from dirt. Wow, a relic. It's it's been so long. It feels like it's been so long. Incorrupt remains of the great pilgrim, founder of the order, and comfort to his followers. His feet never stopped, always taking him forward in his mis uh, mysterious wandering through Custodia. The bearer of this relic receives his determination and walks effortlessly through swamps and muddy marshlands. Ooh, okay, okay. <laughs> An another relic, and I'm once again questioning. I I I mean, oh, it's it's okay, it's okay, but I don't think we've been we've been. Oh wait, oh wait a minute. Now that I think about it, now now that I give it more thought, this might allow us to get to those sections of the map that were not available previously. In the Desecrated Cistern, there was at least two instances, I, I remember, of us not being able to jump up in order to get to a ledge, because there was the, 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 the you know, the sludge was on the ground and we are not able to like walk freely. At that point, I was theorizing to myself, okay, this has something to do with the mid-air um, the mid -air strike that will surely propel us forward or upwards, but that might not be it. Maybe this relic does it? Maybe the, this relic does the thing? And that fingernail was the one that Martyr Nee... Kanor ripped from himself when he was buried alive between spasms of pain after a cruel torture in front of his followers who cried in silence. 
the fingernail, barely visible among the removed dirt, was picked up by the last follower who was lamenting such a horrid event. Um, when all the others left and whose name is unknown, he wrapped it using a piece of cloth torn from his own clothes. And that same night he went to the church whose congregation was the same one that had denounced Nicanor as a heretic, hid the fingernail among its inner bricks and left. Very interesting. The, 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 the symbolisms and the connections to Christianity are pretty straightforward, I would say. Uh, in this one, you know, similarly how, you know, Jesus uh, Christ was um, nailed to a cross. And that's like, I would say, a, a famous and rather popular type of a relic. <laughs> um, uh, this one, yeah, this one also has nails involved. All right. It's, it's surprising that they, like, um, you know, denounced the guy... And later on, uh, his statue was like erected somewhere here. Unless this is talking. Oh no! <laughs> Where is the grandpa? Uh, hello? H hello? Did he did he go in? Oh <laughs> no! Help the pilgrim reach his destination. No, help the pilgrim reach his destination. I guess that's the end of him. I was totally. No. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, that's so sad. Our dearest friend. That's his end. Oh my God. Why is he also like lying there in like a pool of blood? What even happened here? They totally. They totally could have given him like a, you know, proper burial or like a um, proper tasteful end. Something among the uh, along the lines of, I don't know, him finally sitting down and leaning uh, on the statue of the very first pilgrim, the statue that he has always wanted to show. No! The, he, he goes in and he, like, bursts into, like, <laughs> a pool of blood. That's so tragic. It is also interesting that we had to enter the room, get the item, exit the room, hear him talk about his sins, and then enter the room again, and he is dead. That's so sad. Oh. Well, it is what it is. It is what it is. At least I, I can say that I am glad that we managed to end this quest line. But the ending, yeah, that was a curveball thrown at me by the devs. <sighs> okay, I guess we will continue our journey forward without without our dearest friend here. I I I, I I guess the wandering friendly grandpa is no longer our best friend. Now uh, Miriam takes the spot. But what a sad replacement, right? A wench in the place of this legend. <sighs> Let's check the item. Let's check the item, guys. This is so sad. Don't trample his corpse, with the penitent one. Oh, not of rosary rope. All right, all right. You you have provided me, friend. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Without you, I would not be able to get stronger. That is also a little bit surprising. So I guess let's let's leave the room. This is tragic. This is freaking tragic. So I I also guess that the completion, in a way of the where is it <laughs> uh, the completion of uh, the rosary beads of all of these slots is tied to certain quest lines which might be unfortunate because i don't really know the status of that gemino quest line that we've interacted with at the very beginning of this episode that one is still puzzling Let's hope that we can still pursue it, we can still push it forward, 
um, and we are not screwed because I want to unlock every single, you know, um, rosary spot I can, definitely. Thankful for the grandpa and the rosary knot, but I am afraid for what uh, the future holds. Okay, this is kind of, this is kind of sad. <laughs> this is kind of sad. This is a, a, a kind of a sad way to, to finish up the episode. Uh, initially, when I saw the relic, initially when I saw the relic, I also thought to myself, oh, this will be a relic that allows us to interact with the roots. That was a little bit of a, if a, a little bit, of, a little bit of a far reach because you know, the wandering grandpa is seemingly not connected to roots in any way, shape, or form. Not even seemingly, he was not connected to those roots in any way, shape, or form. So yeah, a little bit disappointed also that we will not be able to you know backtrack to all of those things left behind. But I am grateful that we will be able to um yeah get certain things here yeah uh, this was the, totally the room that i was talking about in here yeah i believe now we'll be able to like jump up and access it um there was also one other secret room that i found somewhere in the in the area where the same was the case you know not being able to jump up and there was like a, a child of moonlight maybe or maybe an item i don't i don't recall anymore yeah look look how much stuff is still uncovered it is to be uncovered in the desecrated cistern I, I want to get the uh, the ability to get all of those items and now then i'll be able to do all of that backtracking but for now, no luck. I believe this item over here, we would be able to just get it straight up with like the red sand technique, uh, red sand jumping technique. But I, at this point, I don't really remember every single status of every single one of those items. So I want to be like, um, sure that I have a means of um, interacting with an item if I'm going back for it. Uh, that, that, that's where we are at right now. Um, yeah. Um, okay. I, I think that's going to be uh, it for today. A little bit sad of an ending, but I don't thi think, um, uh, you know, it is wise to go into a completely new location, um, you know, so far into in, into the episode we have three possible paths uh, to take um we, we have three possible um locations to uncover we have the morning and havoc which looks awesome uh, it has to be stated it, it looks awesome and i believe it eventually connects to the uh, sleeping canvases and we also have the arch cathedral rooftops in the store for us i don't know where we should be going initially or where we will be going in the very next episode but i will you know decide off camera probably or when i start of the 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 very next uh the very next episode initially i wanted to go to the rooftops instantly because you know the mother of mothers is just there we've just interacted uh, with like a boss who left off like a quest item and that boss felt like it was important for the progression of the game so maybe the arch cathedral rooftops are the very next thing that we should be tackling story-wise but generally, maybe it's also wise to to get these locations out of the way if there are truly additional locations, because in them we might find interesting stuff, um, you know, first. Maybe this is the way to go, and we should get the other uh, things out of the way. Because as you can see, the rooftops are very close to the, um, you know, to the Ferrous tree and the Hall of the Dawning. I believe like the game... Also, let me zoom out the camera. Please, let me zoom out the, uh, the camera. I believe like, yeah, there in the middle, 
the the tree and the hall of the dawning they are like like center pieces of the map they are placed in the center of the map and it have has been mentioned that the pope or like this figure that speaks to us um, in these two cutscenes, the one that we've just seen and the one that we've seen when we were crossing this very important gate. Um, that figure, I believe, is somewhere in this very location, um, in the vicinity of the Hall of the Dawning. I believe this is like an important room and important place, so I think maybe this is where the game like ends or this is uh, the place that you progress in order to get to the late game. I don't know and as the rooftops are very close to that location this might truly be uh, where we should be going story wise so maybe the, the 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 plan is you know getting the sleeping canvases and that other location out of the way before doing that i'm rambling at this point we've already it, it has not been mentioned by me that we've already uncovered like 74 percent of the map so i guess we are drawing close to like entering into the 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 late game but it cannot be stated like for sure uh just yet considering the general uh progression of the game i don't really remember it will be probably around 65 percent in no idea okay at this point i'm rambling i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm ending the episode right here uh what an amazing episode to reiterate we've uh, got to progress or pick up the quest line of gemino we got to progress the quest line of miriam but performing very well in the um in that one jumping puzzle we were able to take down a boss uh, a story important boss uh, on our very first try and we finished up the quest line of uh, our dear friend wandering grandpa i cannot imagine a more eventful episode to take place thank you very much for watching like comment and subscribe but do it always uh, no do it only if you feel like it it is always greatly appreciated though because it helps the channel a great deal um and considering the channel check it out also because there may be some blind playthroughs similar to this one that may pique your interest for the very last time thank you for uh, going on this journey with me and thank you for watching and see you in the very next one bye bye take care good care of yourself and stay safe bye 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 bye